Okay, this is the second of the videos showing the Reality Factory 2, um, Reality Factory 1 compatibility layer, um, running on layer 1 complexity of Reality Factory 2. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to edit the menu. Okay, let's open the menu any file, and now when we open Reality Factory 2, we can of course see the menu. Um, by default, this is how it looks. Say I wanted the main up right under the RF2 text. Um, let's go under here. Menu title 0 is main, but just to verify that, title number main 0. Okay, and uh, this is the x value, this is the y value. Um, we wanted it right under that RF2 text. So we want it quite a bit to the right. Um, I'm going to try 150, and then we want it quite far down. I'm going to try uh, 55. And so let's save that and see how it does. Way up here, we want it to the left and down. So let's go in here to the left some. Let's try 100. Down some, let's try 75. Save. No, still not down far enough and still not to the left far enough. Um, so let's um, go ahead and increase that to, uh, let's try 125, and let's set this to um, about 75. Save it. And it's pretty good on Y, maybe up a tiny bit, but we don't want it more to the left. Um, this was always, this is always how you edit the menu um, in Reality Factory. Um, in my opinion, editing the menu is one of my least favorite tasks in Reality Factory. Um, I've somewhat gotten used to it from being a programmer, having to edit, compile, run, edit, compile, run. But it still can be a little toll-taking, um, <clears throat> and it takes more time um, than it would with something like a menu editor, etc. Um, <clears throat> Stephen Aid has made a wonderful menu editor. He has posted on the forums, and that's a very good solution um, to the problem. Um, I'm going to go ahead and split the video now, um, so until later.